no matter what form of rejection it is, getting told no after you've put it all out there can feel heartbreaking. So today, we're sharing a few tips we found in Good Housekeeping to help you properly handle rejection. Simi. Yes? How many times have you been told no? Did you feel bad? Like you feel like you just want to die? Like, no, no, no. Rejection yeah. Hot. Hot Rejection bad. Nice. Yeah. It's not nice, yeah. especially as the, the leading said, if you um, if you really put yourself out there, mm -hmm. um, if you do as much as you think you're capable of doing, as much as you can do, and it is still, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not a nice thing. I think it takes away from your confidence. So because some people, they've been rejected so often, they just pull back. And that is not a good thing, you know? I think for me, definitely, over the years, I back broad. <laughs> and in journalism, you know, doors have been slammed in my face. Literally. Um, literally. <laughs> uh, people, I mean, it's been, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. And over the years, I've come to realize that, you know what, it's not about you. Um, just keep going, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But that is my approach, mm -hmm. you know? But some people, it really takes a... What it, are you saying the, is the confidence is, it, it just, you know, it kills your confidence. It, it can kill your confidence if you're not strong enough and your, body, your back is not as broad as Nella's. Um, the truth is that, though, what you said is important, mm -hmm. is that oftentimes it's not about you. It's not about you, yeah. It's, it's about whomever the other person is dealing with their own stuff and you just have to allow them to deal with their own stuff. And I like to tell people that, you know, rejection as badly as it feels, oftentimes is really you dodging a big fat bullet, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. Sometimes you think you get rejected is the biggest blessing you could have ever gotten in your life because your rejection is really a redirection to something that is actually meant for you. That is right. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go. How to cope with rejection from goodhousekeeping.com. The first one says, realize why rejection hurts so much. There's a reason all rejections sting so much. And it's not because you're weak or you're too sensitive. Mm -hmm. There's an evolutionary facet to why we desperately need other people to accept us, right? So it's okay. If you feel like really poorly and really badly, after you've been rejected, because that's how we're built. Yeah. You don't need to feel like something wrong with you, mm -hmm. you know, because you feel away. You should feel away. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you didn't feel away, spice. then there'd be something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's how okay. we're built and that's how we're made. You know, it's how you deal with, with the way that you feel. It's going to really um, make a difference in how you process that rejection. What's so, the other one? The other one says, use romantic rejection as an opportunity to prevent another heartbreak. <laughs> Out of all the types of rejection, getting rejected by a crush or a romantic partner can easily feel the worst. Yeah, but, but you said something very instructive earlier. Sometimes you dodged a bullet, you know, but I, I understand that at the time it may not feel that way. It may not feel that way, but there are times it takes years for you to realize, oh, wait, thank God I didn't do that. Yeah, sometimes not years, you know. It, if you just sit and sit with the sorrow and keep yourself to yourself yeah. for a little while and you really think about it. Sometimes when you're, when you're rejected, right, sometimes you have to sit down and you have to write out a list of the pros. So this person would have been good for me in this way. Mm -hmm. This person would not have served me in this way. Oftentimes, if you're honest with yourself, right, that second list is like two pages long. <laughs> and, then, and then the other column have like two points. <laughs> and you realize that, mm, this one, not it. But a lot of us, you know, fear being alone. Mm -hmm. And so even the very people who rejected us, we tend to run back to. Yeah. Try and chase to see what can happen. When we know full well. But not chase nobody, though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not chasing. No sneakers. I am not in. a chaser. <laughs> Would you see romantic <laughs> romantic rejection? It hot still, you know. Mm -hmm. It hot. It hot. Mm -hmm. It hot. Mm -hmm. When you really like somebody or you're into that person and the person's just not into you. Me not like shame. Mm -mm. Not doing it. So you're going to pack your things and go. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it, Simi. Yep. Mm -mm. yep, yep, yep. What's the other one? 
Practice self-care and place yourself in a positive, nurturing environment. <clears throat> it says in the immediate aftermath of rejection, we're not really in that space to think about it because we're in so much pain. Anger and hurt will probably be your immediate reactions after a rejection. But contrary to popular belief, releasing your anger, for example, screaming or hitting a punching bag, doesn't help bring the negative emotion down. In fact, this says it's likely to even increase it. All right, so I just want our viewers to know that this does not only apply to romantic rejection, it could be you applied for a job and you were not successful. Um, <coughs> promotion, you thought that you would have been in line for that promotion, you didn't get it. Um, I mean, I think that these tips, they work for everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just put it mm -hmm. out there. For so sure. it's not just the, the, the romantic um, rejection. For sure. For sure. But I like that. You. S Self-care. Let it out. Self-care. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. Know your worth. Yes. Very important. Know your, ladies, know your worth. On the topic of um, romantic rejection, know your worth. I think that it is probably uh, in a that hot when you realize that, yeah, I am the real deal. Okay. I'm it hurt. Had, it had same it way. It had to know, but guess but what? But you still have, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You still have to know. Yeah what you bring to the table. Exactly. And know that if somebody else can't see your value, mm -hmm. you see it and you know that you can add value to somebody else's life. That is right. And you just have to just hang on until that person manifests. I agree. <laughs> Whether it's one year or five, <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> Let's not bring them into our behind the scenes conversations. Correct, correct. But on that issue mm -hmm. though, on knowing your worth. So let's say you apply for the job and you did not get it. You were rejected. How are, now, how are you now going to use what you have to basically break through into other things? So maybe this wasn't for me. I was rejected, I never get it. But perhaps I can use my skill now to Ca ca craft this way for my own self, mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But sometimes we're so broken and we're so hurt that we don't see the bigger picture. And I want to tell you that the same is true for jobs as well. Yeah. Some of us think a job is a dream job mm -hmm. and we don't land it. And we fall into this pit of despair. And then we realize later on that the job was really not for us. It was supposed to be for yeah. you. And, and you know, if you're lucky enough to even know who got it, you might learn. Yeah. That's not where you were supposed to have been. So I just say, trust the process. Yes, very important. Um, but it's hard to trust the process sometimes, you know, because, you know, in life, we believe, so for example, by 29 or 30, this is what it should be. This is what society tells us, by the way. By 28, 29, you're supposed to be married with two kids, blah, 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 blah. But this is not happening. Mm -hmm. I can't find that partner. Mm -hmm. I can't find my dream job. I don't have enough money to go to school. You know, all of these things. But we don't trust the process. We think something is wrong with us, so which is why I always emphasize, know your worth, know your value. And just, as you say, trust, trust it. And trust the timing. And it, very important. Trust the timing. If it didn't important. happen today, it wasn't supposed to happen today. And because it didn't happen today doesn't mean it won't happen tomorrow. That is correct. Hallelujah. You. I'm telling, mm. telling you. Preach, girl. Trust Auntie Sim. <laughs> As Preach. I would tell my <laughs> students, trust Auntie Sim. She knows what she's talking about. That is right. Coping with rejection. It's not easy, folks, but it can be done. Okay? All right. Housekeeping, housekeeping to help you handle rejection. If you want to find out more, on this topic, the article is mm -hmm. at www.goodhousekeeping.com. And that's it for Girl Talk. Next time we have some wine here, please. What you say? We can't have a girl oh, talk you know, without oh, wine. Oh, you know it's not. not the, <laughs> oh, you know what's, what's in, in your cup? What's in your cup?